This was the same trail we'd run a year earlier. However, last year we experienced heavy rains on the first day and high winds on the last. The weather this year was pleasant. Since we are not hampered by a broken tire bead, flat tire, or flop trailer, we would be able to drive further along the K-Trail this time. There was still plenty of mud along the trail, though. Matt had planned an epic adventure that would begin in Colorado and end at the north rim of Grand Canyon National Park. This would include Gateway to Moab Trail, White Rim Trail, Cathedral Valley Road, Water Pocket Fold, Burr Switchbacks, Hole in the Rock Road, the easy one, Left Hand Collet Canyon, Crodden Road, Grand Staircase Escalante, Paria, House Rock Road, and end at a campsite on the north rim of the National Park. Matt, Derek, Tom, James, and I began the trip. Tom became sick and departed after two nights on White Rim Trail. James had to return to work, which we knew ahead of time, and also left after White Rim. With nearly 400 miles of off-road ahead of us, I managed to rip open the sidewall on one of my tires. I would carry one of James's tires as a spare. Fortunately, that distinctive White Rim was covered by my trasheroo. It was after this experience that I started to carry a second spare tire on certain adventures. Derek suffered a locked-up locker and would spend a few days in Flagstaff after the trip to have that repaired before continuing home. The weather was mostly good, though on the last day of the White Room Trail we'd have a snowstorm and freezing cold weather. Despite these challenges, it was a truly great trip.
Next, in July 2013, was the Colorado campaign. For this adventure, instead of driving my own Jeep, I would ride with Ray, serving as the photographer to document the trip, which of course I did regardless of whether I was driving or not, but it sure was a lot easier riding as a passenger. Five Jeeps began the trip driving through the Oklahoma Panhandle into New Mexico, then on to Great Sand Dunes National Park. The original idea was to enter the park via Medno Pass, but that route was closed due to flooding, so we took highways. After that, we ascended Blanca Peak with three of our group pulling trailers. We believe that was the first time that had been accomplished. Then we continued to the area around St. Elmo, including Tin Cup Pass, Hancock Pass, Alpine Tunnel, and Engineer Pass. There was some rain during the drive up Blanca Peak, making that difficult route a bit more challenging. However, after that, we had good weather for the rest of the trip. After the group broke up, I rode with Ray back to his Washington State home. On the way, we detoured through Capitol Reef National Park, both Water Pocket Fold and Cathedral Valley. Interestingly, I shot a lot more video of the rigs than stills, but you'll see a few extra scenery shots in this series from the cutting room floor. James came up with the idea for an Autumn Arkansas trip focused on photography. That pun was intended. The idea wasn't so much a particular itinerary as it was concentrating on the photography. So you'd think I'd have a lot more photographs to share, but once again I was with Ray, though in my Jeep this time, so I concentrated on documenting the trip via video. We would run basically the same route as we did in 2012, the high water mark more or less. We'd break our second night camp right at sunrise as a thunderstorm was bearing in on us. 
and that's when the battery in Brandy and James's Jeep decided to quit, so we'd have to spend time finding a replacement for it. And at the end of the trip, while refueling in St. Joe, one of my batteries would die. However, having dual batteries, I was able to press on home without replacing the weak one. It was a good trip with lots of wonderful photography for some talented folks, but everything in this video is my work, I think. Someone may have picked up my camera to grab a shot. It's been known to happen. It was another trip to Big Bend to further explore these sublime lands, but this time a major winter storm was bearing down on me as I drove down from Oklahoma to meet Matt in Marfa, Texas. And this time Matt and I would spend one night in Big Bend Ranch State Park, in addition to two in the nearby National Park, or that was the plan. Ultimately, we'd camp one night in each and spend one final night in Terlingua, when weather forecasts predicted that a brutal winter storm would ravage the area on our last night.